Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Jodi and my channel is called Personal Beauty Lab. I have today sort of not a makeup tutorial but more like a makeup demo of first impressions. I did recently film a Sephora uh, VIB sale haul in which I bought all sorts of different products and I wanted to give my um, sort of review or first impression on those products. So. Um, if you're interested in seeing what I think of those products and how I came up with this makeup look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to start out by doing my brows. I'm going to be doing my brows off camera. If you're interested in seeing how I do my brows, um, I will link my eyebrow tutorial. All right, before I apply my foundation, I'm going to go ahead and color correct. I don't have any new color correcting products, so I'm just going to go through this step very quickly. Essentially what I do is just apply the Becca um, under eye corrector in the shade Peach uh, right where my dark circles are and I do that um, prior to applying my foundation. For my foundation, I'm going to be going in with my new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I'm in the shade number 7. I'm going to apply it all over using one of these cat tongue brushes. I know no one really uses the, these anymore, but I like to use them to get a thin application first. So I just sort of put it all over and this is a lot thinner than I would get with my hands. So I like to first go in with this and then build up if I need. First impression, it's honestly looking a little bit pink. For my skin tone, I prefer more um, gold undertone foundations so we'll just have to wait and see so it looks a little bit thin right now all right i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my damp beauty blender on first impression i would say that the coverage is about a medium coverage again i'm not super happy with the color. I think it's too pink for me, but um, we'll see if it oxidizes or if um, when I set it, the color changes a bit. For my concealer, I'm going in with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I am in the shade medium. Um, I'm using this one because it has a very radiant finish. Um, that's kind of the look I wanted today. I'm not sure that this matches well with the shade of foundation because the undertone on this concealer is quite warm. I know this concealer gets a lot of reviews, good reviews as far as um, it not creasing, but on me it actually has um, been creasing so I need to set it immediately after I I'm going to blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm going to set the under eye with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. I'm going to be using that banana shade. This is a new palette for me. Um, I recently hauled it in my Sephora VIB sale haul. So far I really like it. I'm going to actually set the rest of my face with this uh, Maybelline Superstay Better Skin and I'm in the shade 80 Rich Tan. For my contour, I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette and I'm going to go in with the shade Subconscious. bronzer I'm going in with this Tom Ford bronzer this is actually super soft the minute I put my brush in it let me see if I can show you like a lot of powder kicked up 
this is probably too reflective. The, the compact is too reflective for me to really show you, but um, that is definitely what happened there. So definitely go in with a light hand on this. This is, however, really giving my skin a nice glow and it's really making that pink in the foundation that I was worried about. It's, um, it's taking it away. So I really like that. I really like the bronzer. This is my new favorite bronzer. And I'm so sorry to say that because it's so expensive. For my blush, I'm using the new NARS blush. It's in the Ceremone collection and it's in the shade Impudique. I'm going to go, this is a very, very bright shade. So it looks like that. So I'm definitely going to go in with a light hand with this guy. really pretty it's a really pretty color I went in with a very very light hand there's barely anything on my brush and uh, it's very pigmented I think it has a really fresh faced kind of look to it I'm priming my eyes with the Too Faced shadow insurance I also have hooded eyelids so I just have to be so careful there's no fully matte shade to set the entire lid in the palette. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my face powder and I'm going to set the primer with that. All right, again, so because I know I'm gonna go in with a red lip, I am going to stick to more warm tones. So going in with the first shade, On first impression, these shadows are pressed really tightly into the pans. Okay, so this mascara is pretty amazing. Um, even though the four, okay, so I bought it in brown and I bought it in brown so that I could get um, sort of a more subtle look, but because it is so dramatic, um, I wouldn't call this subtle. I mean, I'm not wearing false lashes and as you can see, it's um, really opened up my eyes a lot. So I think this is like a new favorite. This is gonna be sort of the star of the show since the eyes are so neutral. Um, it's my first time trying this. so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed the format um let me know what you thought about these products if there's anything that you're interested in trying or if you have any questions and also please don't forget to give you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it because that helps other people find it and maybe enjoy it as well and it also really helps my channel so thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your day with me and i hope your week is off to a fantastic start see you next time bye